When the news broke that Wonder Woman 3 with Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot would not be moving forward at DC, it seems like all hell is broke loose with the DC rumors, including what actually happened, that Patty Jenkins reportedly is the one who decided that she didn't want to work with them anymore, that she wasn't going to let anybody touch her story for Wonder Woman 3. Well, most people think that's pretty rich considering her latest installment, Wonder Woman 1984, was a complete and total disaster for Warner Brothers and for DC. The fans despise that movie and a lot of people look at it like that might be what you get all the time if you just let Patty Jenkins do whatever she wants. But with all these rumors and reports flying around, it seems like more things are coming out about Patty Jenkins and what a nightmare she is to actually work with. And even though a lot of people did like the first Wonder Woman movie, the reality is that Patty Jenkins directed that, but there were a lot of other people, including Zack Snyder, that were involved in actually crafting that story and making that movie. But when she herself has total and complete control, it doesn't look like people get along very well with her. Take a look at this rumor. Patty Jenkins Star Wars Rogue Squadron script was a mess and reportedly she was a nightmare to work with. A new rumor claims Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron script was a mess, and it was a little bit surprising when, uh, I don't know what day it was, some Disney investor, something, some day where Kathleen Kennedy was out there touting Star Wars projects that were coming up, and this was the big reveal. Patty Jenkins coming over to do a Rogue Squadron movie. And the entire time, I just thought, like, Patty Jenkins was getting so much attention and so many movies offered to her. It was just a really weird thing for someone who had done one very well-received movie in the early 2000s and hadn't done anything else film-wise until Wonder Woman. And even that, she was just the director. She wasn't getting handed all these projects for her just to run herself. But that's all of a sudden what started happening. The hot new female Hollywood director. And uh, it's turned out to be a disaster for anyone who's actually gone close to her. Jenkins was originally announced as director for Star Wars Rogue Squadron by Kathleen Kennedy during Disney Investor Day 2020. That's what it was, Disney Investor Day. And we saw the trailer, we saw all this stuff. Patty Jenkins talked about it, said, you know, I would love to use some of this source material, but we need to make it for a modern audience. Yeah, we've heard that before. By November 2021, it was reported by The Hollywood Reporter the film was indefinitely delayed. Boris Kidd explained, sources say producers and filmmaking team came to realize Jenkins' schedule and other commitments wouldn't allow for the window needed to make the movie in 2022, so it's been taken off the production schedule. But then a different report came out that said very different things that said it was shelved due to creative differences rather than scheduling. And when we're talking about working with Lucasfilm, let's be real, a lot of directors have started projects there and not finished them due to creative differences. So Patty Jenkins wouldn't be the only person to have a problem like that, but it certainly seems like now it's a common trend with Patty Jenkins. He wrote, I talked to a few insiders this week and said the real culprit was the dreaded creative differences. Specifically, Jenkins couldn't agree on a script with Lucasfilm executives, including senior vice president Michelle Rejuan. The film would officially be pulled from Disney's release calendar. Now, Jeff Snyder appeared on this YouTube channel where he claims the Jenkins Rogue Squadron script was a mess. Listen to this. I've heard some things about Patty Jenkins. I've heard she's a nightmare. I'm sorry. I hate to be the guy who calls woman a name. Just, just fucking say it. Just say it. Don't worry about it. Just put the report out there. Put that information out there. Uh, but I get it. Oh my God. But listen, I said this about countless male directors too. He then detailed. So I've heard everything she turned in with Wonder Woman 3 was like a mess. I've heard the Star Wars thing was a mess too. He finished this segment by saying, I don't know what you want me to say, folks. That's what I've heard. It certainly seems to line up with this kind of diva mentality that Patty Jenkins apparently has that she can do no wrong, that she has to be in control of everything, that she refuses to take any criticism or advice or suggestions from someone like James Gunn, who is now running DC Studios. No, it's got to be her way or the highway. So she walks away from Wonder Woman 3, according to these reports, if she wasn't actually like kicked off the project. She walks away from Rogue Squadron due to these problems, due to this script being a mess. What else? Do you remember Cleopatra? That was supposed to be on her list, remember? That was one of the things she wanted to focus on. That's why she didn't do Rogue Squadron. Well, wasn't too much longer before we heard this. Patty Jenkins steps back from directing Gal Gadot's Cleopatra. Man, it's almost like Patty Jenkins is impossible to work with or something. It's almost like nothing is ever good enough for her. It's almost like she's a nightmare. 
Now, I have always thought that she got far too much credit for what happened with Wonder Woman, the original movie. Uh, but, you know, I was like, maybe, maybe she's just that good. We'll see. 1984, fucking disaster. And she can't even get anything else off the ground. That's how bad it is. It just shows that there are some people that you shouldn't just hand the reins to, especially when they have absolutely no experience doing that thing. I think it's safe to say that Patty Jenkins now with all this stuff, it's safe to say that she is one of those people. You don't want to hand her the keys to kingdom. You don't want to hand her the reins because she'll turn into a nightmare. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.